So I have a really exciting recipe for you today. It's an apple and San Miguel gluten-free beer. Spiced winter loaf, it's absolutely delicious. Come check it out. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cream together the ghee and the sugar to make a nice smooth paste. As you can see, it's kind of coming together like wet sand. So now we have the sugar and the ghee nicely combined, we're going to be adding all of the wet ingredients into the same bowl. So I'm going to add, first of all, the treacle, which is going to add a really nice kind of richness and depth to it. So I've just added the allspice and now I'm going to add the ginger. This is an unsweetened, smooth apple puree. You can get it in most supermarkets. This is also going to keep the cake really nice and moist. And then salt to season. And again, you just want to keep mixing until you achieve like a nice smooth paste when you add fat, so the ghee and then the apple puree, which is kind of like water into a bowl together, it kind of slightly looks like it's split until you kind of whisk them in. So I'm actually going to add two eggs. So the next things to do, I'm going to add the baking powder into the flour and then just give it a little mix so we get like an even consistency through and then I'm going to add the flour straight into the wet batter just bit by bit and it just mix as I go. So it's starting to become a nice cake batter. So the final ingredient going into the batter is San Miguel's gluten-free beer which is going to add a really nice richness, depth of flavour and it's just going to bring all the spices and the sweetness and everything and kind of mellow it out nicely. That promising fizz sound. Lovely, look at that. That's the kind of texture that we want. So now it's to bake. So I'm adding my batter into the pre-greased loaf pan that I've lined with baking parchment. And just a little shake, quality control. So the alcohol from the San Miguel gluten-free does evaporate. So once the cake is baked, you'll just be left with a wonderful flavor. This is gonna be the frosting. We have some cream cheese some kind of nice light brown sugar rather than a dark brown, so it's, it's not too rich in flavour. Some stem ginger and also some delicious winter spices. So it's literally as simple as adding these ingredients into the bowl, just giving them a mix till combined. Just use the back of the spoon to really bash up the sugar so you get rid of those big bits. So then go the spices and also salt. I know I said it before, but seasoning your food, whether it's sweet or savoury, is important. Once you're done mixing, back in the fridge, ready for icing. We're going to use the back of the spoon to sculpt the top of this amazing loaf. The next step, we have our really delicious stem ginger and we're just going to scatter a few bits across the top. And we're going to finish with a little zesting of lemon on the top. So I'm just going to finish the top with just a little pinch of the spices that we use to flavour the cake as well. So for the full list of ingredients and the method, check the description box below and obviously don't forget to subscribe. Cake for you!